welcome to Javar's vlog. Today we're at Michelle's and Zabibu's wedding. And right now we're having photo shoots, which is very exciting. And videos, which is also exciting. Here we have the bridal party getting the photos taken. The bride is looking extra nice today, isn't she? So we're going to just go around, interview people and how they're feeling today. Let's start with her. So, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling very happy. I'm lucky to be one of the bridesmaid. Yay! She looks extra beautiful. What are you expecting for today? A lot of fun, everyone enjoying themselves, feeling themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're excited for everything that's going on today, aren't we? So, Face Lady, how are you feeling today? Today, it's going to be Togos. Togos. We can't wait to kill it. We can't wait. Can we wait? You should wait because what we are bringing for you guys is going to be lit. It's different, isn't it? It's different because we're all from different places. So, it's not Adelaide like type of thing, you know. It's like Australian type of thing, you know. So, yeah, I can't wait. I'm actually. What kind of dances are you expecting today? If I start exploding right now, you, I want you to go there so you can see it. Not right now. You have to wait to watch the video till the end. So if I speak, I don't want to speak on your behalf. You have to witness that. You heard it from the first lady. Yeah. Experience it. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the beautiful bride looking extra. Like she is beautiful, amazing. So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling excited. Are you nervous in any ways or just excitement? I'm feeling nervous as well. So what are you expecting to happen today? What are you expecting? I'm expecting to marry my best friend. Her best friend? <laughs> wow, she looks beautiful. She looks like a queen, a goddess. Wow, amazement. What do you like about brother Michael? He's, he's God-fearing and very caring. Who did this amazing work? Oh, uh, my makeup was done by um, Andrea. So we'll get Andrea to come soon to like tell us her her link and stuff. That'd be super great. Um, do you have anything else to say? Thank you, everyone, for attending. Thanks, my bridesmaid. You guys are amazing. I have one more question. Who was praying for you? The person who was praying for me was my father, aka my king. <laughs> her king. What are you looking forward to marriage? I'm looking forward to like waking up every morning to the love of my life. What's the most interesting characteristic about Brother Michael? He's very caring. A funny fact? Funny fact. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. She's feeling herself today, isn't she? <laughs> so we're here with Andrea. She did all the amazing makeup work here. She's such a goddess and it's a wonderful work that she's done. So would you like um, to tell us anything? My name is Audrey and I am the lady behind the makeup and the hair, um, well some of the hair, the bride only um, and yeah basically it's been a long day but we made it. How long have you been doing makeup? Five years actually, yeah five years makeup and two years hair. Yeah. What do you enjoy the most about um, being a makeup artist? I think the variety, like just getting to meet different people every time and just, you know, getting to have new experiences. That's what I love the most. And thank you so much. Everyone looks wonderful today. So what's your name? My name's Nicole. What are you most excited about today? I'm excited to see the bride get married and her walk down the aisle in the church. It'll be the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> are you expecting to cry? I don't know. I'm not really much of a crier, so... <laughs> we already had people crying today. What do you think about that? Is it too early? <laughs> um, no, it's never too early. They're joyful tears, not sad tears. <laughs> joyful tears, guys. Yeah. yeah, that's about it, All right? Yes, thank you. I'm living in Beth. I came just to support this guy who was today be married is one of my uh, brother in the same church in Malawi. He was one of the evangelists. I was this pastor. That's why, uh, you know, this day is a great day. Yeah, for someone to be engaged in the marriage, it's wonderful. It's the blessings according to the word of God, you know, as God created everything and say that 
let the man and the woman multiply. Yeah, that is the blessings. When God, when God has put two people together, it's the first step to start in life. Because, you know, this is a great day. It's a story for someone to remember that I started my life from this point. Today, I've now reached this point. Yeah. For me, I can say that let's support these young people, yeah, spiritually, in prayer, in everything we can support just for them to succeed in the marriage. That is the word I can say. Thank you very much. You're okay. Okay, thank you so much, um, uh, Mr. Jabbar, um, to give me this um, uh, time to... Uh, to make a little conclusion for what happened my name is Rajabu um, evangelist Rajabu but I'm a gospel artist from Brisbane and um, I came here to celebrate the wedding of my my sister Zabibu and then uh, and Muzaliwa I was doing that simple role as an interpreter to change in English into Swahili because most of the people they were inside a the venue they were from a Swahili background then I have to interpret the Swahili for them to get the message I wish this couple to as pastor preach about the prayer the prayer is one of the foundation of the marriage many uh, people they divorce because simply there's no prayer in their house and also, something that um, I mean, uh, just kept was um, uh, spirit of forgiveness. I'm married for about now, eight years now, uh, since 2011, up to now, it's almost eight years. I know and I knew that if you don't have a heart of forgiveness, you can't continue with the journey of couple. I do believe that and that I'm proud to see, to see such a preacher or pastor who give the sermon uh, this afternoon about forgiveness and prayer. Keeping prayer first and believing in that prayer because many people simply they pray but they don't believe in prayer. So first need a prayer. It's vice versa. Faith and prayer, prayer and faith works together and forgiveness and also to pray may the Lord um, to not lead us into temptation because many trials comes in the marriage and obviously trials happen and there is something that I just touched and he said the person close to you is the one who's going to hurt you so badly husband and wife they spend their night together, they hurt each other. So the main key, forgiveness and prayer. God bless you. We just witnessed the wedding of the year, my sister's wedding. We're going to go around, interview some people and see their thoughts on the wedding. Okay, whoever I see, I'm just going to pop. How it was the best. What was the best part? Everything. The vows. The vows? Yes. What did you think about the vows? Oh, cute. What was the best part? The kiss. Kiss? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what was the best The kiss. Congratulations. Why is everyone saying the kiss? Um, who else? What was the best part about the wedding? Dancing. Seeing the bride say I do. Yeah. Congratulations to my sister Manisha Maki. My message is that take care of each other and um that's pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah, love each other regardless. You know, you may be going through ups and downs, but you know, just pray to God and everything will be okay. We're here with the bride. I feel happy. Like, what was the best part? I married my best friend, yeah! <laughs> what was the best part of the wedding? The best part hasn't started. 
The church has not started. Don't worry about the church. This church is just church. When should we expect the best part? Reception. Why? We're going to kill it. Kill what? Surprise. It's a surprise. You wait. You all have to wait. Stop, man. What was the best part of the wedding? I'm in the church, sorry. Ah, uh, the church? Ah, uh, the kissing? The kissing? Yeah, the kissing. Anything else? Yes, I do. What we expect you to see later on? Ah, oh, fire, man. It's going down. That's all you need to know. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hello. How was the church? Uh, it was nice, wonderful, amazing. How was the best part? The best part, um, when they kissed and when they sh shared the rings. Yeah. Do you have any message for the newlyweds? Um, I, I entreat them to, to stick to the word that was um, uh, given to us today. Anything that comes in, they should settle it. They should put Jesus Christ as the, that uh, candle that was at the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Most welcome. I hope you enjoy the night. Joshua! <clears throat> so, how was the church? The church was uh, really good. What was the best part? The best part? Um, I think on the performance. performance. Yeah. What are we expecting for... I ain't going to say much, but you guys will see it today. Do you have any message for the newlywed? Be ready for the performance, that's all. For the performance? How about um, a message for later on? What do you expect later on? Um, well, there's a lot of things that we're expecting today. And uh, one of the things um, that we're going to give you guys the best that we can. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. I don't know how to speak Swahili. Hey, Mama. Mom. Mom, how was the wedding? Toka. Mom, come on. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy, I'm happy because Kuona, my daughter, married. I know, I'm happy, I'm happy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Did you cry? So, no, no, no. Why? <laughs> because I, I have another one in the home. <laughs> because I have, I have Nyota, Vicky, Mitamba, Fura. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to your sister? Not at the moment because I'm very, very excited. So I don't have nothing to say. You have nothing to say? Yeah, not at the moment. Maybe later on. Okay, thanks. Thank you. So right now the families, um, the bride and groom are taking photos with the family and everyone. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. So they're just taking photos with the bride and groom, which is super exciting because those photos will forever be memories and yeah, it's treasure. Do you have any message for the bride and groom? Well, I just want to wish her, you know, all the best and a good future, you know. And we keep on praying about your marriage and all that. But the Lord keep you safe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, so what was the best part about the church? I think I've enjoyed it. It was very nice and very lovely to see people coming and uh, celebrating this wonderful day for Zabibu and the Mzaliwa. What advice would you give to the newlyweds? Uh, I think one of the advice will be probably to live in peace to love each other, especially to communicate whenever they've got any issue and not to be very overconfident because if they are overconfident, they won't seek any advice. So I'll tell them to be seeking advice when they've got any issue because this is what we call experimental journey in a, a wedding life. So if you rely on yourself, you want to be successful. But if you need to be successful, rely on others. That will help a lot. Thank you for that. And uh, what was the best part about the church? Oh, uh, in general, the service was very good. Yeah, we enjoyed. And the best, uh, best, best uh, moment was when the, the groom was giving the rings. And everyone was very excited. And it was much important for us as the family. Yeah, we like it. What advice would you give to them? No, they, uh, I think the advice has been given by the, the, the pastors. They need to keep the relationship to be themselves, they say, up to death at the end of the life. And this is the, the evidence we can give to anyone, advice we can give to anyone who was there. You have to keep your relationship, your wedding, your marriage, to be together, to help each other up to end of the world. That's it. Thank you for that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here with the groom and the bride. Can you please tell us your names? Uh, my name is uh, Michelle. Michelle? Zabi Wumbuto Michelle. And what did you just do? Oh, uh, we got married. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Zabibu, who did you officially become? What is your surname now? Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> what was the best part? 
Just being married, you know. I don't know, and I'm married, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was the best part for you, Michelle? Just getting married. Just getting married? Yeah, I just married. That's it. That's the best thing. Okay, wasn't the kiss or nothing like that? Yeah. No! That was amazing! No. <laughs> uh, my name is Mukasa, brother. I himself, uh, I mean, the wedding is beautiful. Um, we, and we are so proud of him, and um, good luck with everything. Uh, now, as he's there to start his own journey for, for, the, for his own uh, life. The best part was the kissing part, you know. We, we love that area. That area is uh, the best part, you know what I mean? So, all the best, uh, Mozali, Papa Mozali, shout out. We love you every, everywhere, man, my brother. Love you. <laughs> Chukua, pizza funing and janga.